Hello everyone, welcome back. I know it's been a very long time since I've done a vendor reset video, but what with not having uploaded for maybe a week or so, and because, you know, T15, Season 9, there's been a lot of new people that have joined the game, but also I've noticed that a lot of people are actually interested in vendor reset videos. So I thought, you know what, I'll go back to what I used to do, which was actually do vendor reset videos on a on a weekly basis, starting from here on in. So let's get straight into this one. Let's see what the vendors have to offer this week. So here we are on the base of operations. We've got the Emmeline's Guard as the start. It's actually a really good uh, SMG. Not got the best roll though. Uh, we've got MP5 here with uh, Ignited. So not looking overly good at the moment for these ones. We got an Alps Summit backpack with tech support. Tech support is actually a really good talent for a skill build. It's got skill haste on there, which is good. Uh, remove that explosive resistance, and you've got yourself a pretty decent backpack there. We've got a Petrov piece here as well. Uh, this is a chess piece with Spotter. Spotter being one of the uh, more frequent talents to be used in this uh, new season. And then we've got headshot damage mod. We've got a health mod here for the drone. We've got the burn damage mod here for the turret. And then for Sticky, we've got burn duration. I've, I actually played some PvP recently and I was going to. I'll probably end up putting a video out. And I found that this uh, particular burn. <laughs> the burn in uh, PvP is insane and very, very strong. So if you're interested in that, then there you go. Let's go to the clan vendor. Clan vendor time. We've got the forge uh, holster here. Uh, the Rixer and Kaiser. It's got 50% shield health and then health on top of that. I don't really. Uh, use this myself much, but if you're into skill uh, shield builds, then this may be helpful. We've got ongoing directive gloves. We've got foundry bulwark uh, knee pads. I don't really see anyone using foundry bulwark anymore. We've got the all rigger, to be honest. Uh, we've got rigger gloves here. We've got the spaz 12 shot one with close and personal, which is actually pretty good, but it's got accuracy on there, which we don't really want. We've got a uh, pistol here. We've got the G28 marksman rifle with perpetuation. Uh, why even knee pads here? Uh, with repair skills, uh, doesn't really work with those. We've got a P90 here with measured Douglas and Harding gloves. Nothing really here of interest. Marks and rifle damage for the Ariad Holdings. It's got crit damage, skill damage, weapon damage. Mods wise, we've got repair skills. Uh, we've got 4.3% damage for turret, 9% uh, blind death resistance, and then we've got burn duration again for the improved sticky payload. Uh, let's move on. So just quickly at the countdown vendor here, we got the Cold Relations SMG. This has got Perfect Strained. Strained used to be one of the best talents in the game, but it's not really used anymore. I'm not sure if it's actually any good or not, but I don't think it is anymore. But if you are interested in it, this is uh, uh, this is the Perfect Strained version. Um, we got the Closer Chess Piece. Uh, this is added in Season 9, wasn't it? Uh, the Yuzani... Yeah, I'm not going to say that. It's got Perfect Spotter, which is great. Increases top weapon skill damage by 20% to post enemies. It's got Headshot Damage, Crit Damage, and then we've got a Blue Core. So if you wanted to, you could remove that Blue Core. You'd have the Headshot Damage and Crit Damage there, which would be pretty good. And then we got a TARD, or a TDI card, Custom here, which again is a really good uh, pistol because it's got that plus one percent skill tier, which is really really important. And this has got Optimist on it as well. So overall, I mean, these two pieces here are particularly good. And if you're in need of these, and I'd highly recommend you pick it up, especially the card custom. Right. So we're at the campus settlement here. We got the Commando. I think that's the SVD named uh, marksman rifle. Uh, this has got perfectly naked on there. Not one of my favorites at all. We've got a classic M44 carbine with future perfect, a GR9 LMG with magazine size damage to targets out of cover and LMG damage with perpetuation. If that would have had a decent talent, uh, then this could have been a pretty good GR9. Uh, Badger Tough mask here. Uh, we've got a Richter and Kaiser holster with full hazard protection. So if you're still needing stuff like this for your recalibration library, then it's there for you. 16.4% uh, repair skills mod. We've got burn strength as well. Uh, again, that would work well with that burn duration mod. If you're after a, a chem launcher kind of build there, we got the uh, healing for the hive. We got the radius for pulse there, 8.8%. And then we got 5.8% shock radius there for the mine. So nothing really of interest here at the campus. Let's move over to the next settlement. All right, so we're at the theater settlement. We've got a uh, firm handshake, uh, Sokolov concern named gloves, weapon damage, 15% status effects, and headshot damage. These are actually good for status effect build, although I'm, I haven't seen too many people use these in status effects builds, but with 15% extra status effects, I can't see why it wouldn't be good. We've got the double barrel sword off shotgun. 
Uh, we've got ACRS with rifle damage, crit damage accuracy, vindictive, Ariada holding gloves, weapon damage, crit damage, skill haste, uh, Douglas and Hardin knee pads, so nothing really there. 8.6% in snare resistance mod, 5% skill haste for the mines, 4.2% shield health, 6% damage for Firefly, and then 6% duration for the decoy. Decoy being one of my favorite talents, talents, skills in this game, especially in PvP. Really, really love using it. It does help a lot with the skill spam, which I find is very prevalent in PvP, especially with Seeker Mines and stuff like that. But aside from that, really nothing else. If you want to try out these uh, firm handshake gloves for a status effect build, then I'd highly recommend doing that. But it may be that there are better alternatives out there. Okay, so we're at DZ East here, and I'm not going to have any uh, TC credits because I don't go in there, but I have been going in there more frequently recently. Anyway, moving on, we got the Claws Out Wyvernware named holster with 500% melee damage plus 9% pistol damage. We got explosive resistance on there as well. This can work. I've seen people using this with a shield build, although I'm not so sure that melee damage is that mm, strong in this game at the moment. I think at one time it was, but I'm not so sure anymore, to be honest. Uh, certainly not in PvE anyway. Custom M44. Um, this one's got Sadist. We've got the M249B LMG with nothing really there. I mean, Future Perfect's good. True Patriot mask and holster. So if you're in need of those pieces, they are here. i got to admit, guys, I do need some... Um, gear set pieces in order to try some different stuff. I'm not quite sure if I need these or not, so I'll have to check. But that doesn't mean I'm going to have to go into the dark zone. Oh well. Uh, we got the <laughs> Empress mask here, skill haste, repair skills. Empress being one of the strongest skill pieces in the game. Absolutely love this. Uh, love this um, brand set. We got Murakami as well here with uh, status effects and health. That's on a holster. Skill duration mod 8.5%. 1% ammo there for the chem, we got the 4.2% duration for Hive, 8.8% radius for Pulse, and then 4.1% duration for Trap. So really at the moment, none of the mobs really mods doing much here. I really wish they would do something with these mods and allow it so that at least sometimes uh, we could get some max rolls. Because I don't remember the last time I saw a max rolled mod in a vendor. Uh, reset or video or any vendors that I've ever been to. DZ South main entrance. Here we go. We got the door kickers, knock group of sombre chest piece. Uh, this has got the perfect spark damage and enemies with a skill increases total weapon damage by 15% for 20 seconds. Actually, a really, really good talent. Um, you could easily run this in PvP and maybe run a turret or maybe a drone actually. Um, because they will almost definitely hit a target easily, and then you get the extra 20, extra 15% damage, which is, is huge. And on Grupo Sombre, which gives you that crit damage as well, this is good for any assault rifle or SMG build anyway. So this is a really good piece. We got the enhanced org with full crit chance. It's got damage to targets out of cover and SMG damage. Unfortunately, it's got unwavering. If it had a good talent there, this would have been a really good pickup. We got the Fal here with uh, magazine size, half damage, assault rifle damage, Eyeless moving on. Pistol moving on. We got a hardwired backpack. We got a clip protocol chest piece here. Uh, 511 backpack with tech support moving on. We got a Yao chest piece here, which um, the Yao piece I think is still DZ exclusive. So if you're after uh, this, then uh, we got the armor, armor regen, and then we got crit chance with headhunter. I don't believe the roll here is particularly good, but it does have that 40% pulse resistance. And with pulse being so strong in season 9 then uh, running three pieces of this could be possible, although I still don't think it's a viable uh, gear set in its present form. 10.1% crit damage mod, scan range 8.2% for the drone, 7.7% health for turret, and then again we got another 4% burn duration. So yeah, we're seeing a lot of sticky burn stuff going on, which is not great when it seems to be so prevalent in PvP from my playthrough recently. DZ West main entrance, the last vendor here, DZ vendor that is, we got the Everlasting Glaze, we're going to move on from that one, we got a Marine Super Knight Shotgun, uh, 6716 with Steady Handed, Tip of the Spear Gloves, I think I actually need some Tip of the Spear stuff, I've got to be honest, Negotiator's Dilemma, uh, dilemma Knee Pads, we got some Richter and Kaiser Gloves here, Skill Haze Status Effects, Moving on, Murakami knee pads with repair skills and armor regen. I mean, if you're after a repair skills build, Murakami is good for that. This already has repair skills on it, almost maxed. So you'd maybe just roll away that armor regen. Unless you wanted the armor regen, of course. So this isn't a bad piece um, 
in the grand scheme of things, although it's probably one of the best, better pieces we've seen today. Protection from Elites mods, these are always popular. This is only 11%, so it's not max. I think the max is 13%, but I don't think you're ever going to see one of those in a vendor reset video unless I've missed it recently. I think the max I've got is 12%, possibly. 4.1% radius for the mines, 4.1% shield health mod. 5.9% uh, skill haste for Fireflight, and then again another 6% duration for the decoy. So really, nothing of interest here except for perhaps this protection from Elites mod. Last but not least, we are in New York. I've got to admit, I haven't been to New York for what feels like a long time. So let's see what these vendors have got. we got a Police T821. It's actually one of my favorite SMGs. I don't know why I love it, but I do. It's got Outsider, so moving on. We got the M700 carbine. This has got flatline on there. I'm not sure that I've. S I'm not sure I have flatline on the sniper, so I may have to get this for recal. Uh, Marks rifle damage, headshot damage, crit chance. So not a bad uh, actual sniper there at all. We got a UIC 50 mod two uh, rifle as well. This has got lucky shot. We got another pistol here with steady handed Fenris chest piece with entrench. Um, Yuzunu, uh, <laughs> Yuzunai. I don't even have to say it. Knee pads here. Um, Nothing great. We've got a Golden Gear mask as well. Not great. 16.6% repair skills mod. Incoming repairs mod. 17% deflector damage for shield. We've got another burn strength mod. Uh, and we've also got a 6.4% duration mod there for the sticky. Um, let's move on here to the last vendor of this video. Um, let's see what we've got here then. We've got another police T821. Uh, this time with strain. So... It's possible this could be tested to see if strain is still bad. SR1 with bread basket. We got an SASG12 shotgun with bread basket as well. Another pistol here. We got a China Light chest piece with skilled, which isn't bad at all. Hana Yu gloves with skill haste health. Sokolov gloves here with weapon damage, crit chance, headshot damage. This isn't a bad piece actually. It's very low rolled, but uh, if you remove that headshot damage and put crit hit damage on there, then you've got yourself, you know, something to work towards in, in in regards to a very good piece of Sokolov gear here. So this would probably be a recommendation uh, from me to you if you're indeed in need of a SMG uh, piece. We've got skill duration mod here of 8.3%. We've got 8.3% disrupt resistance mod, 6.2% health for mines and snare health. And then 4.1% skill haste for sticky here. So there we go, guys. That's really, yeah, I mean, nothing of real kind of huge interest in this video. Um, no real kind of big pickups for me. The highlight is probably the protection from Elite's mod. Um, there's been a couple of pieces here and there which would work well for some builds. I possibly might need the uh, carbon uh, sniper because it's got flatline for recal, but nothing really here that I'm going to be putting into any of my builds. Let me know if there's anything in this video that you guys needed and that you've picked up in the comments down below. Until the next one, epic out.